on September 29, Foreign Minister of Armenia Arat Mirzoyan received head of the delegation of the International Committee of Red Cross to Armenia, Thierry Ribo. The parties discussed the cooperation between Armenia and the ICRC on addressing the humanitarian problems in Artsakh and the ongoing activities of the organization. Mirzoyan highlighted the necessity of immediate and unconditional repatriation of Armenian prisoners of war and civilian captives held in Azerbaijan. Speaking at a discussion held in the National Assembly Standing Committee on Human Rights and Public Affairs, permanent representative of the Artsakh Republic in Armenia, Sergei Gazarian, said that during the 44-day war, 742 Artsakh servicemen were killed, 45 are still considered missing. In addition, he said 80 civilians were killed and 38 people are in captivity. Speaking about Artsakh at the beginning of the meeting with Turkish President Erdogan in Sochi today, Russian President Putin said that the Russian-Turkish ceasefire monitoring center in Artsakh is a serious guarantee of stability in the region. The Russian-Turkish ceasefire control center on the border between Armenia and Azerbaijan is actively operating. This cooperation is a serious guarantee of stability in the further steps of reconciling the positions of the parties, he said. We consider the PAC and the Committee of Ministers of the Council of Europe as formats that can contribute to the positive development of the issue of the return of prisoners, but they are also political platforms for us with their own positive and negative sides. Siranush Sahakyan, a human rights activist representing the interests of Armenian prisoners of war in Azerbaijan, said at a press conference referring to the PAC resolution on the humanitarian consequences of the Armenian-Azerbaijani conflict. From his part, David Almirian, Deputy Director of the Open Society Foundations of Armenia, said that the PAC report equates Armenia and Azerbaijan. From the beginning, we tried to fight against that balance, but it is very difficult to force politicians to change their approach. Lukoil said Wednesday that it has agreed to acquire a 25% interest in the shallow water Absheron Peninsula exploration project in the Azerbaijani sector of the Caspian Sea from British Petroleum for an undisclosed sum. The Russian oil and gas company says the deal is expected to complete before the end of 2021 following its approval by the government of Azerbaijan. The Taliban has accused the U.S. Violating, of violating withdrawal agreement by continuing to fly drones over Afghanistan, calling on all countries, especially United States, to treat Afghanistan in light of international rights, laws, and commitments in order to prevent any negative consequences. 896 new COVID-19 cases were confirmed in Armenia yesterday, 22 people died.